It's crazy. I mean, Abercrombie and Fitch, it's like, it's so simple. Urban, Abercrombie, American Eagle, all these stocks um, are making this big comeback. Because they've undergone this complete reface of their brand. I mean, we see, there's a documentary that we've all watched. We were just discussing it out here in the newsroom where they have now completely redone their brand to be more accommodating of all different body types. The stores used to be like dark. You'd have to take a shower after because you'd reek <laughs> of the, the cologne and perfume. They were very, very bizarre. And I, I, I was a frequent guest at the old Abercrombie and Fitch's as well as Hollister's. And I've been to, there's a new one very close to us, Oliver, and it is a completely different store, completely different feel. They're very cool among the Gen Z demographic. And my, my brother is always my barometer of what is cool. He says it's back. I'm wearing an Abercrombie and Fitch dress, unintentionally so, but I'm glad we're talking about them, at least on a really positive day. I mean, as far as their earnings go, it's almost like how could they have blown past expectations this much? They reported adjusted earnings of around $1.10 a share versus the $0.13 cents expected. It's like how were you weren't even close on sales of around $900 35 million that was up about 90 million ahead of what they had been expecting their ceo did say both hollister and abercrombie experienced lower freight costs as well as higher average unit retail so essentially on average we're seeing each item being sold at a higher price compared to the pre pre previous period now geographically we saw america's revenue jump 19 percent europe middle east and africa rose four percent and asia pacific surprisingly was also up 18 percent year over year Abercrombie's specific brand sales was up 26%. Hollister was up 8%. So Abercrombie and Fitch is right now their definite bread and butter. They did also raise their full year outlook at this point in the back of this really solid quarter. Now expecting their sales to grow around 10% to 3.7 billion. Now, or from 3.7 billion, excuse me. But mind you, they've been calling for around 4 to 6% growth. Street had been expecting 4% growth. And they're able to now guide for 10% growth. I mean, they just blew it out of the water. So no wonder we're seeing shares higher today. I mean, this this report pretty much was an A plus as far as expectations versus reality. Yeah, pretty good stuff. All right, Abercrombie and Fitch, back, baby. Uh, unless, uh, you know, you're not a fan of what it was to begin with, then I guess it's new. New but, leadership. Kind new. of feels like it's back. Even though nobody, even though like in retrospect, everybody, disapproved of like you know the way they did things they were still buying it and wearing it and it was super popular absolutely it's like the way everybody looks back and hates Nickelback it's like okay but everybody was listening to it at the same time so whoa 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 I never is the Nickelback of how did I, okay well I, I'm okay with that comparison because I never hated Nickelback all right well it's very honest of you uh,